Well, hey everyone, it's Catherine from Catherine Pooler Designs. I'm gonna show you the roundabout dies in this video. There are six dies all together. Three of them have a cutting edge like the one on the left, and three have cutouts that are just gonna um, die cut little circles. So basically like a round of polka dots. You can use them separately or together to create polka dots cut through your card or cutouts around or inside your circle die cuts. So here's a close look at those. See, there's no cutting edge on these. They just cut those circles out of uh, the cardstock. So you can use these dies with the cutting edge on the outside and then the circle polka dots on the inside or use the polka dots on the outside, circle cut on the inside and back and forth. These were all made to layer and nest inside one another, giving you tons of design possibilities. Then add in the roundabout sentiments and stamp the curved sentiments on the outside of your circle, on the inside of your circle. Let's take a look at them in use. I'm gonna use a large circle die and then the layer inside has just the polka dots and then another layer inside with the die cutting blade. So that's gonna make three different cuts there. And then I'm using a polka dot round die, a cutting edge die, and then another polka dot. So I'll just run this through the die cutting machine and we're gonna get several different types of die cuts that you can then use on multiple projects. So we have the layer with a large circle die cut out of the center. We have a ring basically that has polka dots cut out of it. And then we have a small circle. So all of these pieces can be used on different projects. And then on this one, you can see we have the dots punched around the outside of that circle frame. And then we have a die cut circle with the polka dots around the edge. So depending on how you layer these pieces together, you're gonna get different looks. So for this one, I did a circle die cut out of the center, and then I did the polka dots, two rings of polka dots, and that's gonna really create a fun um, added accent to my card design, and there's so many different ways to finish this off. You could do ink blending on the inside of that circle window. You can accent it with different flowers and dragonflies. Think to Christmas or fall with fall leaves. And you can use the roundabout message sentiment stamp set with this. They were created to go together, so there is a curve to all of the different sentiments. And because of the way that the curve on a circle works, the smaller it gets, the different, the curve is a little bit different. So luckily photopolymer stamps are made so that they can bend. So you can manipulate the stamp just a little bit to make it more curved or less curved, depending on which layer of the circle dies you're using. And I'll show that to you toward the end of the video. But for this card, we're doing the You Make My World Nicer, and then I stamped the Love You on one of our little sentiment banner dies, and then we're just gonna add on the Night in Flight moth, which I have previously colored in, and if you wanna see some other videos on that, I have lots of videos on my YouTube channel showing you how to color with ink pads and blender pens. So I added some foam tape to that card layer to pop it up on the base. That gives some more dimension to the card so that there's a little bit of shadowing for that window and it just creates more dimension and interest. Added the moth, added some sequins and an extra little sentiment there. And you can see how easy it is to work with a basic card layout like this. If you have a stamp that isn't curved enough, you can just very easily manipulate it just like I'm doing here and make it more curved or less curved depending on which size circle you're using. So just going to manipulate that, press it down onto that acrylic block. You can also use a stamping platform like the Misty and uh, that works really well too. And just stamp it on there, stamp it on the card outside the dots. You can stamp it onto a circle layer. Lots of options here. And look at how cute that is when it's stamped on there. You make my world nicer. And then again, just add a snowflake or a Christmas tree or a fall leaf or a little tree stump and a porcupine or a hedgehog. There are a few straight sentiments in this set and they were sized perfectly for the sentiment banner dies as well as our notes of love dies. So they'll work great together. 
Here are some great samples using these dyes in various ways by myself and our brand ambassadors. Hope these inspire you and you see the versatility of this product. This can be found in our shop at shop.katherinepooler.com. And if you're looking for more ideas, head over to the blog, katherinepooler.com slash blog. Also on the product pages, we will have project ideas for you. If you are new here, be sure to subscribe to the channel so you can hang out with us. We have live streams on a weekly basis and we hope to see you there.